Hello everybody, it's Ocity Mad Haven here, and I have a couple of games for you today inside the Concept 1B. Now, I'm pretty sure we've all ended up in those moments where we felt like we made a mistake, but we somehow turned it around. Now, I have a match just like that, so let's go ahead and dive right into this. So we're going to be, a, we're on highway, and well, you guys know how highway is, it's pretty decently sized map combined with city and open terrain a lot of haul down spots and a couple other things in between you got the bridge dead center which is really good for haul down or just trying to get additional spotting in but today concept 1b i've been putting a lot of matches inside this tank i think within the past week i'd say i've put in probably in the range of 20 or so to 30 matches inside the tank and i'm really starting to like it even though you have a lack of dpm with that 10 second reload or 9.9 .9 second with the fully maxed out crew and a gun rammer and including a premium consumable um your dpm is not the greatest you're not made to go brawling against let's say a medium tank or even another heavy your dpm is just not fast enough to be able to handle it primarily you have apcr and then you also have heat so you have really fast, high velocity rounds and for those close quarters engagements or even trying to, you know, pick through, let's say, a haul down target, you have the heat rounds that you're going to be able to use to help you with that with 310 armor pin. They're not 340 like a lot of tier 10s and some other tier 9s in the game have, but 310 is enough to rip through a lot of stuff inside this game. Your standard APCR, you're looking at 258 along with a travel speed of uh, brain fart just like mine at the moment oh boy but as you guys can see i'm kind of in a sticky situation right here so as i'm you know scrolling through this trying to find everything that i'm trying to get my hands on oh no i selected the wrong thing oh dear goodness that's the ae okay so with your apc are you looking at 1478 uh, velocity your heat rounds well heat rounds are heat rounds usually they're not going above a thousand unless it's the LPC it's got some really fast rounds and that bat chat 12, 12 ton was my main target I wanted to take him down as fast as I could just because well he's in there he's trying to spot us he wants to make sure that we're gonna be getting taken down now in this position here I didn't know what to do and as I started the backup I realized all my viewports are right on top the entire top of the Concept 1B, it's really flat. So being able to back up, respotting everybody, then pulling forward again, backing up, trying to find that good sweet spot, keeping that tortoise lit up as much as we can, using the bushes in front of us to try and stay concealed, taking a quick pop shot, pulling back just to stay away, and, you know, getting uncomfortable because of the amount of artillery that we have flying at us, but already up to 3,000, scratch that. 4,000 spot assist, 2,000 damage dealt within the first, I'd say, 2 minutes and 15 seconds of the match. Off to a really good start, helping the team take down multiple targets and damage a lot more than just what was starting off. Now, making a decision to push up, getting a really nice snapshot there on the G-Sore. You know, as I said, the bridge, if you want to push up to the bridge, it can help you get a little bit more spot assist or if that's like your main goal to get to in the first place. But I believe where that water tower is, the, the water tower, my English today, oh my goodness. The water tower with the concrete down at the bottom with it being destructible really helps out. A little bit of a misplay there at that uh, shot that I whiffed. We all whiff quite a few shots though. You know, there's moments whenever you get into it where you kind of hit that panic switch and well, I hit my panic switch. But pulling up, just trying to see if we can spot anything out. So far, not detecting anything. A little bit worried about the light tank up behind. But at the same time, we want to try and keep the momentum, stay aggressive. We're up to 2,700, 4,300 spot assist, and 808 ricochet. So, reserving a little bit of hit points for later on. Now, one of the downfalls to the Concept 1B is if you are using this tank to brawl, make sure that you're facing your turret towards the target as much as you can and aim your gun down i have noticed that whenever you're versing a medium and they get on your side and then they rb or i believe it's r1 for playstation or r2 i can't remember which one it is or they just do the auto lock in general it's going to be focusing out your your gun mantle well not your gun mantle but your turret mantle so your turret traverse and it can jam your turret 
almost every single shot if you're not trying to defend against it. So keeping your turret towards that target the entire time can help you counteract that. Because of where the auto lock position is, it does feel like this thing gets hit a lot. And along the rim at the very bottom of the turret, you can see that it flattens out. So 90% of the time, they will break your turret. But up to 3,100 damage dealt, 4,352 assisted. I've said this a thousand times. You know, getting into a bad position and being able to make a comeback off of it and get comfortable, only losing 700 hit points, it, to me, I was not expecting that to happen. I was kind of expecting to be sent back to Garage and having a bad moment, you know, for the rest of the time. Tracking shot in the Tiger one, a little bit sad, trying to squeeze out some extra damage, but at the same time, we got a little bit more assist damage because we did track him. Now, we're going to get one more, 382. So far, having a really nice game with the total combined. And? Do, do we... No? May, no! They're Scare. And I was playing with Scare during this time, and honestly, if you guys run into him, T-E-R, Scareface, he is a monstrous player. You see him, have no mercy. Load the premium. Be a nice guy against him. Best way to do it. So, very... Very nice match. Seven detections. Gotta say, the seven detections is probably my favorite right here. <laughs> but overall, 8,000 plus combined. It was a really good game. And part that surprised me was it was only a first class mastery with that as well. You know, you would, with that much output and then the basic speed that we got for 1,543, you would be expecting mastery, but we're just barely falling short of a mastery. Up next, we have Sunset Coast. This match combines a little bit more aggressive plays and trying to get in as much as we can. So th this one utilizes more of the armor, knowledge of the tank, and the slight aggression and trying to show off what it's like to try and maximize your DPM. Inside the Concept 1B, not all tanks. But with the Concept 1B, you have a 110 millimeter and it's really nice that it gets the, the main damage that 120s do, rather than giving it a 390 alpha and a little bit less penetration than normal. It was really nice that they gave this tank the 258 and 310 that it gets. And with the size of it and how big the turret is, it, it's just a ridgeline dominator. So off the rear of the tank, you're looking at about 2.5 degrees, but all around other than the rear, you're looking at about 10 degrees the entire time. Unless you're going over like the side, a little bit over the rear, it's like 6.3. And then it will immediately drop down to 2.5. But other than that, the tank holds up really good. It does fall behind when it comes down to brawling matches, though. This tank is not a brawler in the slightest. But it, it does a good job. The front plate, it's really weird to try and get it angled. It's more dependent on just barely exposing the turret. If you try exposing your frontal armor in general, even at the 10 degrees of gun depression, your top plate is still only like 245 and nowhere near the auto ricochet that it needs. So barely peeking over is your best bet inside the concept. The light tank at the very beginning asked us to come to the right side. We were thinking about, I was thinking about going to the middle, but instead of going middle, I kind of decided to flip around as the light tanks were running away, so rather than getting a little bit of assistance from him. But in the end, it's okay. So we see a Vanguard, not worried about taking a shot at him, want to save the shell because I felt like I was going to miss. And really, really pixel perfect shot against that T-77 straight into the hatch at such a weird angle. I was honestly a little bit surprised that I managed to get that. And pushing up, trying to take down as much as we can. You guys can see that I'm moving around quite a bit, and that's because I was a little bit worried about pulling out right here. Uh, there was two tank destroyers up, combined with that T-32 up top, and I remember that the Valor was spotted out near the middle because there was a couple guys in game chat talking. But I do have all the uh, visual effects disabled for better recordings. Knowing that the 4005 took a shot, I decided to come up and throw a high explosive into him. So, we fired an APCR starting off, and here is the HE-4. I didn't even see that. Holy crap. That was fast. Brain. Smooth. A little bit of a pickle right here. And um, the way that the Concept 1B is put together, 
You have a top plate that's 130 and your lower plate's also 130. I believe I could be wrong about that, but I, I do think that they're the same. So it allows you to overexpose the entire front of the tank without much to worry about. So yeah, your top and lower plate are both 130. Combined with that, you have 120 millimeters of side armor, but don't rely on that 120 millimeters of side armor. You do have kind of a little bit of um, a ball around the turret that likes to poke out a little bit. So a little bit of a bump and it is considered a weak spot on the flattest part. Just like the way the VK uh, 7201K is set up as well, or the Panzer 7, depending on which one you look at. But there's a lot of tanks that have that little ball around them that have the flat sides and it will kind of curve out a little bit. It's pretty natural for the tanks. But don't let it, you know, put you away from the tank. This thing, the more I play it, the more I'm falling in love with it. And to have those really good combination matches is just super nice. Right there, getting a nice little blind shot, even though it orig originally was not a blind shot, just enough time spent behind the bush and we managed to get a shot into him. Waiting it, waiting it, and not deciding to take the shell because it would have been a ricochet. It's a T32. That's 298 turret armor and a really thick hatch. Can't remember the exact armor models. It's been a couple years since I played that tank. Probably going to be saving up to buy it back. And looking to have a lot of fun uh, right now a lot of my silver that I've been earning I've been spending a lot of it buying back tier nines buying back tier eights just filling up my garage to give me more of a variety that way I can get into a lot more tanks and have a lot more fun and work on my experience inside the matches to help improve my skill that way I can spend more time helping you guys as much as I can now, I know that my gameplay style is a lot different than a lot of yours, and I like to swap up a lot. One moment we'll be building nests left and right, the next we're going to be having really aggressive plays depending on the tanks that we're in. I like to switch up my play styles as much as I can, just to keep things fresh, and that way I don't lose interest inside the game. But don't get me wrong, I will take my breaks, I do like to spend some time playing other games. For instance, you guys did see a couple videos posted on Outriders, which, you know, it's not bad. It is what it is. And if you guys haven't played the game, I highly recommend to go check it out. I've been enjoying the crap out of it. Now, right here, trying to utilize that 120 millimeters of side armor against the Valor here. But the Valor tends to shoot the rock. Kind of happy I'm not. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of matches uh, that I'd say in the past couple of days that I feel like um, my, my .25 gun dispersion or my .3... Like my .25 tends to hit rocks and my .38 tends to hit the tank. So, been having a lot of blasts. A lot of blasts. Yeah, a lot of fun. The brain's smooth. I, I think I'm, I think I'm done monologuing. Oh boy. T69. He's trying to bounce. A lot of AP rounds coming at us, but it, we're, we're holding up strong. Um, the frontal armor. You know, it's like if you are stuck trying to brawl, you want to try and give this tank as many angles as you can against your targets. Because you want to rely on those auto ricochet angles as much as you can inside the concept. Other than that, tank holds up really well. So far inside the matchmaker, the DPM falls behind quite a bit. But if you can position yourself just right, the tank is an absolute beast. And a mastery badge. I don't know how the 8000 combined didn't get a mastery badge, but I guess dealing 5,646 outright with 359 Assist is a way to get it. So, Concept 1B, overall, it's a very monstrous tank. It's it's not bad at all. So you have 250 on the turret. Combined with that, you have the 230, the 210. Now, 200 slowly goes down. I'd look it up on Tanks GG and show it off, but I already have a review of the video up. So if you guys want to go check that out, be my guest. But, honestly, I have been spending a lot more time playing this tank... And I feel like almost every single match that I play inside of it, it surprises me more and more. So if you guys have been letting your Concept 1B sit inside your garage since the season that you got your hands on it, I'd recommend to pull it out and have some fun inside it, because I know I have. Um, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Seriously, leave a comment. I will try my best to get back to you guys as much as I can. And if you're not a part of the Discord group, just... Ask in the comments for an invite, and I will take the time out to send you an invitation. Other than that, you guys have a fantastic day, good night, whatever time it is for you, and I'll catch you next time.